Hi, I'm Christian Griego with Edwards Instrument Company. I'd like to talk to you about your spit valve. There's a couple basic things you need to check periodically. I've heard horror stories of people going on stage and having something happen, and it's generally my spit valve backed out. My spring or my spring, the loop was cut too short and it unwound. I just had my spit valve spring um, repaired or replaced, and I went on stage and I went to empty it and it unwound from itself. Spit valve basics, that's what we're covering today. When your spit valve spring is installed, make sure it's not left too long. The legs I'm talking about right down here, uh, when it comes off and they have to trim it, if it's left too long, every time you go like this, you can catch yourself on the leg and cut yourself a little bit. That, it's like a little ouch moment. Um, then don't make, make sure it's not cut too short on these as well, because if they are, when you go like this all the way down, it can unwind and then you only have half the spring tension left. So, and then when you get half a spring tension left, grab one of your replacement springs and have it installed at a later time. You can still survive, but you don't want to have those legs cut too long or too short. Just right. I know you want to know where can I get this. Um, you can go to your local music store or you can go to store.edwards-instruments.com. I know you've been hearing that in the videos because we're trying to imprint it on you. Store.edwards-instruments.com. Things to make sure you have in your case at all times for trombone or trumpet is the cork or the neoprene material, a couple extra new ones, a couple springs. I've seen people in emergencies actually take a rubber band and just wrap it around and tie it, and that will give you enough tension to survive through the concert if you end up in a pinch. Things to watch is if you get grime inside um, the shaft as it goes through this, it will start loosening the spring and it'll slowly turn a little bit each time. And if that happens, you, this can back out. So keep an eye on this. Have a little screwdriver um, so you can tighten it if you have to. A few of these tips can save you in a pinch. Um, I've heard horror stories of things happening on stage and we don't want this to happen to you. The only way, truthfully, is constant um, vigilance and looking at your equipment, making sure it's right, having spare parts around, um, all these things, preventative, is always better than emergency repair. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like us, subscribe to this channel. We appreciate you watching and we, we hope to be a part of your life sometime.